Okay, this is another video on another DC supervillain um, anti... What the fuck? Anti-matter. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. I don't even... Anti-monitor. Anti... Fuck. <laughs> anyway, um, I never really heard of anti-monitor. The only monitor I know is the, the main antagonist of that video game that flopped called... Um, it was a video game that came out for the PS4. Um, shit. EA and Bioware had uh, developed that shit with the big Max. I don't know. I probably will remember as I fucking edit this fucking video. But anyway, yeah, that was the only uh, bad guy named Monitor from that video game. But I did not know I who who is Monitor. I don't know who. Well, anti Monitor, or whatever. So this is another origin story of a, a villain you didn't even know or i didn't even know um if you do know who is this person i don't know <laughs> hey here it is the anti-monitor is not a villain in the traditional sense he is simply a force of absolute destruction driven by his very nature to destroy everything in his path and an end to in and including reality itself while the anti-monitor was not appear has not appeared often, his arrival heralds something far more nightmarish than a simple global threat for the anti-monitor signals the arrival of the crisis be uh, between realities, a crucible metaphysical proportions from which survival is at best an uncertain outcome. The anti-monitor debuted it as a reality collapsing villain of crisis on infinite earths destroying all but one world of the dc multiverse during the crisis of infinite earths it was revealed how existence of all parallel universes in the multiverse came to be including the positive matter multiverse and also the antimatter universe and how the monitor and the antimonitor came into existence when the menace posed by the anti-monitor become apparent several villains were sent back in time to stop him but were defeated by Krona and other of the Owens I think that's how you say it O-A-N-S whatever in the final revision it was established that increased entropy in the universe shortening the existence by a billion years in any event two beings were created one on the moon of or and the other on the moon of craward on the moon of or, or. <laughs> the being known as the monitor was instantly aware of his counterpart the anti-monitor although his official name is the monitor in his own universe and he often addressed as such the name anti-monitor is used to dis distinguish him from his heroic positive matter counterpart by uh by this time the anti-monitor uh, excuse me the anti-monitor has quickly conquered cord as well as the rest of the anti-matter universe and searching for other places to conquer he also became aware of his counterpart these two beings battled for years uh, for millions of years unleashing a great power against each other but but to no avail at the end of their stalemate they uh, simultaneously attack one another rendering both inert for nine billion years in final crisis it was revealed that in the wake of the birth of original metaverse an unfathomable being of limitless imagination the original monitor the over monitor became aware of the life germinating in the budding multiverse occupying the void space in which he was sighted and which he encompassed curious about it and wanting to interact with and know better the lesser life forms birthed by the multiverse he fastened a probe a smaller monitor unprepared to deal with the complexity of life and the passing of time the probe monitor was instantly split into two symmetrical opposite beings upon coming into contact with the multiverse itself. The monitor embodying the positive matter and goodness and the anti-monitor embodying anti-matter and evil. The anti-monitor who appears monstrous barely resembles the monitor who bears physically near human appearance and the anti-monitor has empty, sometimes luminous eye sockets and wide wrinkled mouth often mistaken for the mass of teeth 
when his armor is destroyed by Supergirl. The form appears not dissimilar uh, to that of the Monitor, but unstable and surrounded by uh, a coarse uh, uh, cating aura of radiant energy, uh, of energy, his life force leaking out like water from a failing vessel, explaining the need for armor. Anti-Monitor himself refers to the armor as his life shell. When the Manhunters rebuild his armor, it is revealed his body is little more than churning mass energy. Much later, when his helmet is disintegrated by the firestorm, the Anti-Matter's head is revealed to be featureless except for his eyes and mouth. 